Uh, so let's talk about our country because uh, it's very important we talk about this our home. We cannot actually exempt it from our conversation. Uh, the, the Nigeria is actually always, most time rather, let me put it that way, is actually referred as a country that has a very poor reading culture. Yes, that we don't read more. Uh, that if you want to hide anything for a Nigerian, put it in a book, he will not actually have time to read it. Uh, how true really could it actually, actually be? I'm asking you from your experience and then from the kind of engagement you've actually had with the younger people through conversation. How true could this be? That's a stereotype. That's I what? Feel like I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I said that's a stereotype. Okay. I don't know who started it. That is a, a huge misconception. I don't know who started it, who started that lie. But it's not true. A lot of people that I associate with are love books. They might not be the normal literature books, but people study. The problem is not the fact that Nigerians don't do or don't have reading culture. The problem is our system. Does the system um, uh, provide opportunities for those people who read, for those people who have ideas? The answer is no, they don't. And that's why you see, like, people who have all of these ideas are not able to actualize them. And people come up with this stereotype of trying to say that it is the, especially the young Nigerians that don't want to do good things. That, that's a lie and it's just a rhetoric that's been used to hurt young Nigerians. But uh, another thing is the fact that I've also had a lot of people say that the younger people spend more time on social media rather than getting engaged in some constructive uh, conversation and also getting to improve in their knowledge through reading books and all of that. That's why I was actually asking you so looking at the engagement that the younger people have on social media, uh, don't you think is also one of the factors through which the younger people don't actually get engaged in reading more books? Who says social media is wrong? Why do we immediately think that social media is bad? Everybody's on social media. Your parents are on Facebook. That's where they get their daily dose of information. No matter how hard, no matter how um, we try to complain that they shouldn't, Everybody's on social media, so why are the young Nigerians targeted for being on social media or trying to make money off of social media? How many jobs are being provided in Nigeria? These are young, hardworking Nigerians trying to find a way out. So they go to social media, they talk, they use their voice, and they try to make money. So I'm really confused as to why people immediately think that just because we're on social media, it's a bad thing. Everybody's mm. on social media. People need to stop bashing the young. I mean, I'm a young Nigerian on social media. And mm. That's how I'm able to connect with people. Uh, quite interesting, the Capital City, if you're just joining in, of course, uh, it's 104.5 Love FM, and I have the poetic goddess herself, who I have had via phone call here, and it's been quite interesting conversation, getting to know how the journey has actually been for her, and of course, she's telling us a lot about a lot of things we really need to know concerning, of course, the creative, amazing work she has actually been doing to give us something amazing like this. Take a listen to it, and of course, when I come back, she will tell us more about it. Stay tuned right here on 104.5 Love FM. Born to a world that took our voice. Personalities include modest and coy. Our future painted before we could dream. You'd like it, they say, or so it would seem. They taught us to fear so we could never be free and tapered our strength so we would always stay weak. Tell me, of what use is the goddess on earth when you constantly treat us like peasants and serfs? How can we be proud of society when nature's blood moon has made us unclean? We are ashamed of desires that our flesh requires. Cut it off, they say, so that she might stay clean, yet you prey on the innocence we fight to keep. How easy. The world tricked us into being silent, to be used, abused, and remain content. We were born into this world to serve the men first. All choices and thoughts is to quench a man's thirst. Your destiny is planned and you have no choice. Respect every man and boys will be boys. You'll earn your respect when you leave this house and move to your husband, of course. In a marriage of two, it is your duty to hold it. Forgiveness is a virtue. You need to have it. Enough with the lies, with the toxic hold you have over our lives, with the weak thoughts that we are not enough when we are, as you say, goddesses on earth. We will wear our skin and our parts with pride and no longer shrink because of your ego size. We will praise nature for the body she gave us, of which you have no right over the choices we make up. 
And if you will not share the stage, then we will build our own anything to keep our girls safe. In a place that justifies hurting us again and again, we will be radical and loud. We will take our voice back and paint that future we were always made to have. We will be born in a world where we serve ourselves first. So, will you join us? We offer to a wide range of design elements. 104.5 FM. Powerful, amazing world there by the goddess herself, poetic goddess. I have her right here via phone call. Who oh, are good to have you on the program? Thank you. Thank you. Of course, uh, that's quite amazing, really. I don't know what you call that. What's the title of the first one I actually played, even though I don't understand Yoruba, but the way you oh, just twist yeah, the word. Okay, yeah, you didn't play it till the end. Um, that's called me. Oh, it's called what? Ewami. Ewami. What does that mean? Um, it's Yoruba for my beauty. Okay, Yoruba for my beauty. Yes. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I, I don't understand Yoruba, but I love the way everything about it, the way you actually put it. But, but what actually inspired this particular one, if I may ask? That was actually written for a brand, a skincare brand. Oh. Um, I was doing some collaborations with uh, small businesses, and I thought it would be nice to collaborate with them. And um, I really liked what they were doing. Interesting. So, so a uh, quick one, time is fast, Pen. Uh, when you are having a, an interesting conversation, like they say, time uh, flies very, very fast. Uh, so a quick one for a lot of Nigerians, particularly the youth who are listening to you now, what would be your word or your message for them? For the Nigerian youth, I'm just going to say, I know that life is hard right now. I mean, being in Nigeria and being a young person, especially if you're a creative, people are out. For us, they would call us names, but man, just put your head down, focus on your hustle. It's you're mm. the main character in your own story, and you will find a way out. Interesting. And a quick one before I let you go. Of course, uh, I know a lot of Nigerians who actually want to catch up with you on your social. Can you quickly drop your social handle? Yes. Yeah, so I'm. I am. Uh, the, the the name of my handle on Instagram is um, I am Hua. There's a full stop between each word, so I full stop am full stop Hua on both Instagram and TikTok. And on Twitter, it's just at Hey Hua here. I think you've been very fast. Can you just take it slowly? Oh, okay. So Instagram and TikTok you can find me on I full stop am full stop Hua. Hua is spelled H U W A. And on, t- and on Twitter, sorry, you can find me on um, Twitter with the handle at HeyHua here. Mm. Interesting. I know you might want to send your shout out to one or two people, maybe friends or close associates, either here in Abuja or e- even in Lagos, oh, yeah, those who are listening. Sure. I, I know a couple of people at Abuja. Say Come on. Me, hi, um, famous. Uh, hi. I hope that they hear this. Okay. So, um, yeah. Shout okay. Guys, guys okay. Interesting. For a lot of you who might want to get her book, of course, you can actually link up on her social. She just called her social, uh, her Instagram, her Twitter. Who well, maybe you should do that one more time. Okay, so Instagram and TikTok, you can find me on I post up am post up Hua and Hua is spelled H U W A. On Twitter, you can find me at um, with the handle at Hey Hua here. Who I must say thank you so very much for making up time to speak with us on this wonderful, amazing thank you program. Thank so much for letting me speak. It thank you. Fun. Thank you so very much. And I wish you the very best. Keep doing what you're doing. And of course, definitely, you are going to shoot and hit the sky. Thank you. Uh, that's Hua, the poetic goddess, I call her. And of course, it's been an amazing conversation right here. Take a listen. I hope you will enjoy it. Right here on 104.5 Love FM Abuja. Bye bye for now. Remember when looking into your eyes was like making love? I could watch your pupils dilate and it speak a million words. Remember when our fingers would brush on our way to class and then walk a couple steps in front so you get the perfect view of my fine. Remember our first kiss? Yeah, it was terrible, but it was the best kind of memorable. We were so nervous, we forgot how to make our lips touch. So we tried over and over, and all we got was that ridiculous pop sound. Remember when we got it right? 
It was spontaneous. Even the eyes from the crowd couldn't contain us. It rained that day, didn't it? Turn on the power in your radio. I love it. You are listening to 104.5 FM. Love is in the air. Love is in the air.